draw underway. So the ATP Madrid draw is also out. And Elkra is the defending champion. He is playing. There are some massive names not playing in this. A lot of names not playing in this one. So let's go have a look at the withdrawals. So we've got a very long withdrawal list on the ATP. A lot of big names that have played well here in the past. So I'm with Berrettini. He's pulled out. Bonzi, Brooksby, Chilich, Correa. Dillian's also pulled out. Novak Djokovic is also pulled out with what we think is an elbow problem. So he will be missed. Draper, Isner, Quan, Kyrgios, Nadal has pulled out of another tournament this year. So again, we don't get to see Djokovic and Nadal playing in the same event. I've only seen them play once in the same event this year. Nakashima, Pella, Rindanish. Sin has pulled out, which is a bit of a shock. He did withdraw from his match last week, but it was due to illness. So maybe it's just something a little bit more serious. And Ima has also pulled out of this one. We know there's players that have injuries as well. That might be a question mark. Someone like Holger Runa. He came close to retiring his match today. He was injured with two different injuries. So players like that are definitely someone to watch out for potentially pulling out over the next few days. But let's see who is playing in the draw and what's it look like at the moment. So here's the top section of the draw. You've got 32 seeds in this one. Everyone gets a buy in the first round if you've got a seed. And Alcaraz, number one seed. He gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on either Rusevori or Umber in the second round. Then you've got Nava taking on Barrea. Winner of that will take on Dimitrov, the 26th seed in the second round. Then you've got Korda, 22nd seed. He's back for the first time in a long time since the Australian Open. He gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on either Schwartzman or a qualifier in the second round. Then we've got Bayana versus Goffan. Winner of that would take on the number 13 seed Zverev in the second round. So this section's interesting. Korda Zverev, winner plays Alcaraz, potentially. So we could get a repeat of last year's final. Alcaraz versus Zverev in the fourth round. Korda coming back for the first time in a long time. Let's see how he looks. Uh, he does have a win over Alcaraz on a clay court. So that was in Monte Carlo last year. That could be interesting. Good section. Good fun section, this one. Next section of the draw, we've got Hashinov, the number 10 seed. He'll take on either Montero or a qualifier in that second round. Then you've got Popperin taking on Hellas. Winner of that would take on Batista Agu, the 20th seed in the second round. Then you've got Nishioka, the 28th seed, taking on either Wu or Molchan in the second round. Molchan's in a little bit of form. Watch out for him. Then you've got Cressy taking on Stan Vavrinka. Winner of that will take the number five seed, Rublev. So Stan versus Rublev. Potential second round. Blockbuster second round. Stan the man versus Andre Rublev, who's just come off making a final in Bosnia last week. And of course, Monte Carlo champion a couple weeks ago. Uh, this section's a bit interesting. You know, Hashinov's been pretty good this year on uh, on clay and on hard courts, of course. Nishioka had a good week last week. Nearly took out Sinner. Of course, Rublev versus Vavrinka is a crazy matchup in that second round. And of course, this section of the draw will take on the Alcaraz section. So we could get a quarterfinal with Rublev versus Alcaraz potentially in the quarterfinal. Next section of the draw, we've got Rude, the number three seed. He'll play a qualifier in the second round because we've got two qualifiers going at it. Then, then we've got Kokonakis taking on Munar. Winner of that will take on Grixbor, the 30th seed in the second round. Then we've got Krinio Busta, the 18th seed. He'll take on either Fanini or Otter in the second round. Then we've got Varalis taking on a qualifier. Winner of that will take on the number 15 seed, Musetti, in the second round. This section's open because Krinio Busta's coming back from injury. Grixbor, I don't know how good he is on clay. Rude has not been good this year. Musetti's probably the favorite from this section based on form. He's been very good this year. He lost to City Pass and Sinner, his last two events. So I think Musetti, and if he plays Rude, he probably like his chances based on form. So maybe Musetti is someone to watch out for in this section, which is something that I never usually say. Next section of the draw, we've got Hercatch, number 12 seed in the second round. We'll take on either Landalucci or Gasquet in that second round. Then we've got Shardy taking on Gaston. Winner of that will take on Chorich, the 17th seed in the second round. Then we've got the 29th seed, Fakina, buying the first round. He'll take on either Ramos Vinoles or Avashka in the second round. Then we've got Bublik versus Gallon. Winner of that will take on the number 6 seed, Runa, in the second round. So Runa taking on potentially her catch in the fourth round. Uh, Fakina in the third round. That's a tough match for Runa, especially if he's injured. And of course, this section will take on the Rude section. So we could be getting Runa Rude. A battle of uh, the last uh, French Open quarterfinal last year where they didn't have the nicest handshake in the world. Or we might get Musetti Runa based on form. Of course, this section will take on the Alcaraz section. So we could get Runa or uh, Rude taking on Alcaraz in the semifinals, potentially down the track. All right, bottom half of the draw, top section. We've got number seven seed Felix Ogelia seen back in action. He'll take on either Kubler or Lajevic in the second round. Lajevic coming off a trophy last week, so Lajevic is going to be liking his chances, I guess, against a FAA who hasn't played on clay yet. Sonego will take on a qualifier. Winner of that will take on the number 32 seed, Shelton, in the second round. And with 24th seed, Serendolo, he'll take on the winner of Shell Bay or Cashin in the second round. Then we've got Echeverry taking on Manorino. Winner of that will take on the number 9 seed, Tiafo in the second round. This section's wide open because Tiafo wasn't great last week. He was good in America on clay, but not great on the 
the European clay yet. Uh, FAA coming back for the first time. Lajevic is in good form. Shelton's still learning how to play on clay. Serendolo can play on clay. So can Echeverry. So maybe it's an unseeded random in this section. This section's open. I, I, I don't know if the top seeds are a, a, a sure thing in this section. Next section of the draw we've got the number 14 seed, Paul. They take on either Jarry or a qualifier in the second round. Jarry's been informed. That's a tough second round for Paul. Uh, then we've got McDonald taking on Morales. Winner of that will take on number 19 seed, Evans, in the second round. Then we've got the 25th seed, Baez. He'll take on the winner of Borges or Giron. We're going out in the first round. Then we've got Edmund versus Team. Winner of that will take on the number 4 seed, City Pass. So Team versus City Pass. Yes, let's get that. In the second round, we could be getting a, um, you know, City Pass versus Paul in the fourth round. I think, to be honest, I think City Pass has got a really good draw. You know, get through Team. Baez is tough. Jarry, he played already. He beat him in Monte Carlo. Paul, Evans, I think they're beatable on clay. I think City Pass will like this. And this section of the draw will take on the Felix Ojeli Asim section, which again, like I said before, is wide open. So I don't know. I think City Pass's draw is pretty, pretty cruisy based on uh, form. Next section of the draw, we've got Fritz. He'll take on either O'Connell or Kranovich in the second round. We've got Garen versus Huzla. We know that will take on Kitchmenovich, the 27th seed in the second round. Shapovalov, the number 21 seed. He'll take on either Song or a qualifier in the second round. Then we've got Mute taking on Lestian. Winner of that will take on the number 11 seed, Nori, in the second round. Uh, Fritz would be liking his draw. I think Fritz, Ketchmanovic is tough. Um, that'll be a blockbuster third round, but I think he would like his chances. Uh, Shapovalov and Nori, fun third round match potentially as well. I think Ketchmanovic is the hardest opponent for, for Fritz in this section of the draw. And the bottom section of the draw, we've got Diminor, number 16 seed. He'll take on either Fucevic or a qualifier in the second round. We've got another qualifier taking on Jera. Winner of that will take on the number 23 seed, Van der in the second second round. Then we've got the number 31 seed Lehechka. He'll take on either Wolf or a qualifier in the second round. Then we've got a qualifier taking on Andy Murray. Winner of that will take on number two seed Daniel Medvedev. Murray Medvedev, second round. Another blockbuster. Potentially on the cards. And Lehechka in the third round for Medi is not easy. So this section is tricky for Medvedev. But again, I think manageable. I think Medvedev like City Pass will like his chances. Medi can play on... I mean, he beats Verabon Clay in Monte Carlo. Sure, that went a long way to his confidence. If he gets through Lehechka, I think he'll like his chances and making it a little further. And of course, this section will take on the Fritz section. So we could be getting Fritz taken on Medvedev in the quarterfinals. And then the winner of that section could play City Pass in the semis based on the rankings. So there you go. Madrid done and dusted. There's the draw. A lot of players not playing, of course, on the men's side of things. A lot of question marks on a lot of players as well. Is Runa healthy enough to play? We'll find out in the next couple of days. But let me know who's going to win Madrid based on the draw. Elker is defending champion. I think he likes his draw. I think City Pass is going to be um, someone to watch for as well. I think he looks like he's got a pretty good draw. Uh, if he can avoid team. And also Medvedev. Like, I, I would love to see Medvedev do well here. That would be great to see Medi do well. Uh, Rublev, another one. Rublev versus Elkris quarterfinal. That could decide who maybe makes the final. But yeah, interesting matchups without the big names. Well, a lot of the big names missing. But let me know. Who do you think is going to win for the men's tournament in Madrid this year?